guys welcome back so I'm gonna have a kind of short video today um I don't know if I slept wrong or what but um yeah my neck is like it's sore I'm gonna zoom out a little bit um I have managed to get a lot of stuff like right here um and Ugh, it's made my working space limited. So I'm going to close this so it doesn't like spill if it falls or something. But anyway, so I'm going to just keep working on this journal, this Tsunami Rose journal. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but as of now, it's just called the Tsunami Rose journal because I don't really have anything else in mind so let me click off of obs so it doesn't like do all wonky on me um so i've got these uh really pretty cards that i put on sticker paper and i'm gonna cut those out because i think i want to use those today um And this is from her Life's a Bloom kit, this one here. And you can find all of those on the website, tsunamirose.net. I love this kit. It is so pretty. I actually think I want to use this uh, potentially, because um, I used a lot of her stuff in my last journal. And I think I want to use some of this again in my next journal. Here I am planning my next journal and this one's not even done yet. The story of my life, right? I am constantly working on projects. But aren't we all? It's kind of what makes it fun, right? Like, always got something to do. So my daughter had her checkup appointment today, Sydney, and she is doing so much better. She's eating. I actually walked in the house just a minute ago and she was eating a peanut butter and jelly bagel. We found these, we took her to the grocery store last weekend, or well, this past weekend, and um, had her pick out a couple things that maybe would encourage her to eat and um oh i have some of these on vellum too um but anyway one of the things that she found was in the bakery section were these rainbow colored bagels i mean they're just regular bagels but they're right they're rainbow colored so they're red and blue and purple and they're just they're cute and so she was eating her peanut butter and jelly bagel with her rainbow colored bagel. It was cute. I was just glad to see that she's eating. Um, she has been eating a lot more lately, which is really good. Uh, she hasn't really lost any weight, which is also really good. Um, Cause I mean, she's eight years old. She doesn't need to lose weight. Um, And you know what else I think I want to find? Um, whether it's find in my stash, because I have some, but um, find in my stash or find on Etsy or whatever is stencils. Because I've seen people do stencil work on like blank pages and all oh, the difference that it makes is astounding. It's really, really cool. And I do have some. So we can definitely utilize those. Um, oh, this one didn't quite get to the edge. There we go. Oh, <laughs> remember it's on sticker paper. Yeah, let go. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway. Um, so that's something that I definitely want to try out. I haven't really done a lot with stenciling. I have a few. I have enough that, you know, 
I could use them if I if I wanted to, but I don't have like a ginormous stash like you know my laces and such. Um, I'm just finding some things on here that I can cut out um, with this trimmer since I have it out. This is from her um, Charming Fragments. That little label right there tells me that it's from Charming Fragments. And um, I think this one is going to be separate. Or no, I'm not sure how I'm, I want to use that. But I did print the coffee dye paper on or underneath this, underneath her printables. So we can still utilize that um, even if I don't feel like fussy cutting. Because you know that's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Actually, it's not so bad. I did, um, someone recommended a long time ago to get those Fisker scissors, the ones that um, have like the spring in them. And ever since I've been using those to fussy cut, oh, it's like a lifesaver, I tell you. My hands are thank very, very thankful for whoever suggested that. It was quite a long time ago. Um, I think we might have still been in Washington, I don't know, uh, but I have no idea. I'm just cutting some stuff out while I have my trimmer out. I figured why not, right? Um, this one probably, I might be able to do a couple things on this one. Let's see. I know I'm not going to be able to do that one. Actually, I think I can because there's like an outline. Kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it or not. But there's like an outline un like underneath this image like she layered the images which is really cool so anyway how have you guys been what have you been up to I know some of you are commenting in the in the comments and let me know and all that jazz which is cool I like hearing from you guys it is different not doing the lives anymore but I will tell you my life is just so much less stressful because those lives are whew, they're stressful man I guess I'm just not a person that handles stress well because, oh, goodness gracious me. I mean, it got to the point, obviously, y'all know, I had to, I had to step back and be like, yo, Nelly Furtado, let's, let's take a look at what's going on here. But that's okay, because I think I'm, I'm better now. Like, I feel better. I feel like I'm not to the point that I'm going to go and do lives like I'm not doing that, but I do feel better, you know, and every day is like another positive day. I'm not so worried about like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. And I know I say I have a lot of projects and such, but it, I just don't know. I just... Yes, I have a lot of project lists to do, but I don't know. I just, I feel like it's not going to be the end of the world if, you know, I don't get a video up, which is also why I do, um, I record multiple videos in one day. Like I'll have, um, some extra free time. So I'll record, you know, two videos instead of one, you know? 
a cute little pack here. Okay, so, oh, these are postcards. And this one is, oh, this one's the folder. Those are really, I love the smell. Mm, you can't help it, you've got to smell it. If y'all have not bought paper from this only, oh my gosh. Do yourself a favor and just buy one pack and you'll be hooked. Because the smell alone is amazing. I kind of want to keep that one. It's nice and big. I'm not keeping all this other stuff though. I know someone out there is like, no, but that's okay. I don't have the space to keep every single corner scrap and whatnot. If I don't use it in the project, I toss it. All right. So now we have these guys and we can start putting, cause these are stickers basically. And we can start putting some on some of these blanker pages, but I don't want to just like willy nilly put them all over the place. You know, um, I kind of want to have some sort of rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. How did I miss this? Nope. I can hear Sydney in the living room talking to Porter. I'm not sure what they're talking about, but I can hear them in there talking. All right. So, ow. let's see, what do we got here? Um, and we could also use these in, um, in our cards and tags and such, you know, like in the collage. That's really pretty. I like that postcard. How big is that? I like this. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. And let's hope this comes off fairly easily. I have not used this particular sticker paper before. Um, I only recently got it mm, a couple months ago. I just haven't used it yet. But it's just, it's like label paper, but they're full sheets. And it's not Avery, it's a different brand. Um, Pretty. Let's see. I want to put something here, but I want to limit what I do to this because, um, ooh, I wonder. I wonder if I put some lace right down here because this is dyed paper, so it's a little bit more fragile. So I want to try to support this piece right here. So let's take this off set you aside. I love that sound. Isn't that awesome? I just love it. Okay, so we're going to lace our folds here. And we're going to use this one. Oh, maybe I should get the lace. Okay. We're just going to like kind of put the crease in the middle of the lace here. That way when it folds, it will have a little bit more protection. Okay. Pop a little bit more up here. And if you don't like glue on your fingers, you can always just use a brush or spatula. You make little rubber spatulas. You can typically, typically find them with like painter stuff, like artistry painting stuff. Um, and they're not necessarily as expensive as the ones that are 
created for junk journaling because for whatever reason the materials that are created specifically for junk journaling cost a lot more than if you go to the hardware store and buy it you know what I mean which is very strange because it's the same stuff oh yeah There we go. All right, so we're gonna fold that back. There we go. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing to this side. Oh no, we. And I'm using the pink again only because it happens to go really well with what we're doing. Um, I kind of want to make a Halloween journal, but I don't know if I'm going to have time. Because, well, it's already towards, like, the end-ish of October. glue on my finger was not quite dry when I picked up the scissors. <laughs> but now I have glue on my scissors. That's okay. I have all kinds of stuff on my scissors. I'm really not looking forward to when I have to buy new scissors because I don't know about you guys, but I've had these scissors for years. And it's like they're my partner in crime, man. I just love them so much. Okay, so they are on different sides of um, the journal. So this will be like that, and then this one will be like that. Okay. I really like that postcard right there. It's really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do on the rest of this, um, but I love this page. Oh, so fun. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if I want to add lace anywhere else. I mean, I do, but I don't want to just willy-nilly add lace, you know? I think we need more on this side. I think, well, I need one on this side too. So let's pick a page here. This one, I think that one is good. All right, where's the white lace? Oh, right beside me. Okay. And And again, you can use Fabri-Tac. I'm just using the PVA glue. I did order some art glitter glue. I have no idea what size I ordered, like which size bottle it is. Uh, it is the four ounce. That's not what I mean. It is the four ounce. I just don't know how big it is. I was kind of hoping for the teeny tiny one, but um, all the packs that I saw were like, Twenty thirty dollars and it said will be in stock November 20th I'm like yeah I'm good I have glue but I really want to try this out so I don't really want to wait that long okay so there's that one now let's flip over this one's the middle so let's flip over and do one on this side See, like this, I think would be really cool if we stenciled it. But here, I think it would go really well with this page over here. 
Let's do that. And see, that is something else I do like uh, about the PVA glue, is I can smear it with my finger. Now, you can smear the uh, fabric pack. Just uh, good luck getting it off your hands. Because, I mean, you can wash your hands and all, but it does not like coming off the skin. I have noticed that. Okay. Um, okay, I think we might be okay on lace for a little bit. Okay, so let's set that aside. Oh, you know what? I did want to add one of these folders in here. I think it'd be really cool. thinking like do I want to just put it in because it is just slightly smaller than the eight and a half by eleven and I still have to find something for this so I could just put it here hmm let's see She's like playing like she's in a rocket ship or something. I just hear pew, like she's taken off. I love that girl's imagination, man. She reminds me of me now, not me when I was little. Because my imagination was suppressed, if you will. I didn't really have a very vivid imagination as a kid. I think we should cut this out and then fold it in half and then cut the edges. That way they're lined up. scissors here. Excuse you. You can use a bone folder. My scissors are just handy. Alright. You can also use a corner rounder for that. Again, scissors are just handy. And soft. It's lining up quite nicely. Wait. Okay. Fuck it. Oh, I didn't bring my water in here. Yep. Okay, so this is what I'm 
thinking? Where'd you go? So, thinking if we just completely attach it right here, it's going to have this on the back, but it's copy dyed, it's pretty, and we can make it prettier. And on top of that, you'll get an extra little folder here. Hmm. I think I like this idea. Okay. Yep, let's do it. I'm thinking too much and doing not enough. Could sew it too, but with it being a page, I don't really want to sew it. Oh, I love that sound. Okay. And then the pocket on this side. Very cool. Alright, so I didn't quite go over enough. see how are we going to do this now we could put a pocket right here um, let's see I'm thinking could make a lace pocket Think about that. I do like the lace pocket, but I think I want something different here. I just don't know what yet. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it for now because nothing's coming to my brain. All right, so let's see. I do like this lace pocket idea. Maybe in the front. Ooh, that would be really cool. Oh, I like that. Yep, I'm going to do that. I am going to use Fabri-Frac because it's a pocket and I want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So, let me grab my fabric sash here. Yep. See, you're thinking about one thing and something else ends up coming to mind. Go out glue. Alright. Okay. And then go all the way across here. Like that. Can see okay okay yeah
I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the middle here to make it two separate pockets. And I have glue on my fingers. <laughs> Wasn't I just talking about that? I'm pretty sure I was. Alright. Hold that. And now we have lace pockets. And we can put that inside. Ooh. That's cool. I love how this is coming along. We could do another lace pocket. Um, let's see, that one's got a pocket already. Maybe here. Yeah, I think I want to do it here. Grab this. Not done with you. Oh, need my lace. And this is just what was left. Um, because this was before I started counting my yards, and I was going off of you know what the people said where I bought it, and so this one I ended up with probably about three yards left and instead of selling it I just kept it so I could play with it alright hold that Trim up the sides here. Boop. And this side. Boop. And now we have a lace pocket in the middle of our journal. Where'd you go? There you are. And then this side. And something else that I've learned from this scale is when you're decorating your books, keep going front to back, front to back. That way um, you don't end up with a really fat journal that's got like the first six pages are really decorated and then the last 20 are not at all decorated. <laughs> so that is some absolutely great teachings that she has taught me. All right, hold that. Ooh, we actually did a lot. We got all these cards cut out so we can play with those and make, make some more ephemera. Um, I just, I really wanted to use that one. 
Um, we've got pockets added and we got our file folder in here cut out and put in. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this one just yet, but we'll figure something out. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had fun playing and uh, thank you so much for coming along. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.